Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to mirror your iPhone to a Windows PC using the AirPlay feature and the A Power Mirror application. Let's go over to this website here, apowersoft.com, phone dash mirror, and we're going to click on download. And I'm using the Google Chrome browser, so my download executable is downloading right here in the lower left corner of my Google Chrome. And it has now completed the download. So I'll just click on that executable. I'm going to iconize my browser here. Since A Power Mirror is not an application on the Microsoft Store, I get this pop-up here. So I'm going to say install anyway. When the pop-up comes up and says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes, and then it starts the installation process. So I want this in English, so I'll say okay. All right, I'll click on next. You can read this if you want. Make sure you click here, I accept the agreement. Click on next. Here's where it's gonna be installed. I'm just gonna leave this as the default. Click on next. I don't want the program to run when Windows starts, so I'm going to uncheck that. Create a quick launch shortcut. I don't want that either. It'll put an icon down here, and I'm not in the bottom of your screen. I'm not interested in that, but I do want a desktop shortcut, so I'll leave that checked. Click on Next. Click on Install. All right, so it says it's done, and here's the icon that it added to my desktop. So I can just click on Finish, and it'll launch the application. And I'm going to iconize my browser again. Now at this point, you can decide whether you're going to be a guest, free account, or VIP account. The free account will work for me just fine. I'm not interested in the whiteboard feature or full screen display, or I don't care if there's ads or watermarks on my screen right now. So I'll just click on sign up. All right, then come down here and click on sign up. So I put in an email address and I put in a password, and then you've got to click here to get a verification code. So click on that and then go check your email and I got an email from a PowerSoft verification code click on that copy the four digit code you got and then come back over here paste that in there and click on sign up come in here click on this so it's telling me that my version is personal and I have a trial account I'm just going to exit out of this and I'm not interested in the game keyboard. You may be, but I'm just going to um, exit out of this too. Now, by default, the Android button is selected. I want iOS because I'm going to be working with an iPhone. So I'll select iOS. And it says here that make sure your PC and your phone are on the same Wi Fi network. In my case, it is. So I need to bring up this menu as shown on this screen here. So I happen to be using a iPhone 10. So for me to bring up this screen here, I've got to go up in the upper right hand corner and swipe down. And then that brings the screen up here. And then I can see the screen mirroring options. So just click on screen mirroring. And then I can see it says A PowerSoft. So I can click on that. Now this here is what exactly what I'm seeing on my phone. So if I swipe up here, these are the icons on my phone now. And what's cool about this app, it actually is a true representation of your phone. I mean, my phone looks exactly like this. It's an iPhone 10. And it has the same background. It truly is mirroring my phone. All right, so now if you're ready to exit the A Power Mirror application, 
You just come up here in the upper right hand corner and swipe down. And then click on A Power Soft. And then click on Stop Mirroring. And you're disconnected from your phone. And then if you mouse up here to the top here of the phone area, here's your exit button. Click on that. You can minimize to the system tray or you can exit the program. I'll click on exit program, click on OK. All right, so that's how you would use the A Power Mirror application along with the AirPlay on your iPhone to mirror your iPhone to a Windows PC. I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.